Donald Trump's adviser Larry Kudlow has heart attack amid historical U.S. North Korea summit. The Republican firebrand tweeted out the news of Kudlow's heart attack as he made his way to his Singapore summit with dictator Kim Jong un. He said Mr. Kudlow has been working so hard on trade and the economy. The U.S. president wrote, Our great Larry Kudlow, who has been working so hard on trade and the economy, has just suffered a heart attack. He is now in Walter Reed Medical Center. According to his doctors, Mr. Cutlow had a very mild heart attack is currently in a good condition. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the White House adviser is currently in good condition at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center and his doctors expect he will make a full and speedy recovery. Trump's close friend was not traveling with the U.S. president in Singapore. He had just returned to the U.S. from the G7 summit in Canada where trade tensions dominated the talks. Mr. Kudlow has been at the heart of Trump's trade feuds in recent months. He joined the U.S. delegations in Beijing and Canada to address trade disputes. Although he has been opposed to tariffs, he has supported Trump's decision to increase tariffs against both China and key U.S. allies such as the European Union. Mr. Kudlow accused Canada's President Trudeau of having kind of stabbed us in the back during a news conference after Trump left the summit early to head to Singapore. Vice President Mike Pence also tweeted about Mr. Kudlow's heart attack. He said he and Second Lady Karen Pence Karen are praying for our dear friend Larry Kudlow tonight. 